Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are here with the Twilight Pack announcement coming to us on the 18th of October of this year, next to free update 1.11. Now, if you have missed that announcement, I highly recommend you to watch that video as well. This video is going to be all about the new Twilight Pack that we can expect on the 18th of October. So before we start talking about that, let's go and check out this awesome trailer. Seriously, I have been such a big fan of the spooky pack of Planet Coaster. <laughs> like the first thing that it reminds me of is the spooky pack. And I, I can totally see that some people are maybe like, meh, I don't really like this. Like this is for a zoo game instead of like a coaster <laughs> or a theme park game. But honestly, I am very excited with all this new stuff. But before we uh, go over the trailer a little bit more, uh, in this Twilight pack, we can expect the lovely and amazing raccoon, as you did see in the trailer already, and also the common wombat, the red fox, and also the striped skunk. And there will be a big deal a big DLC, <laughs> big exhibit added, which will be like a walkthrough exhibit, and that will house the Egyptian fruit bat. So I am super curious to see more about that. We will have a screenshot later in this video of the Egyptian fruit bat in this big exhibit. But before we go over that, uh, let's just go over the trailer once more and just see what, uh, what we can spot in here. So if we just scroll a little bit further in here, we can see like these lanterns and these roots. Like I've been dying for these type of roots for so long. I think we had a bunch of these roots as well in Planet Coaster or, or something similar like this. There are also like really big ones right over here. Also, this does look like new foliage. And uh, oh man, I just, I really like this. Like. Obviously, this this pack is themed with like a lot of, let's just call it like a Halloween vibe to it. But I definitely uh, know that this kind of stuff is going to be so useful for so many different habitats, like these roots and stuff. Oh man, I I I feel like these roots are going to be like the the must have thing of this pack, but. We have to wait and see about that. Also, I think on the floor right over here, I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but it looks like there are some, some kind of leaves or something on the floor. So that is really cute. And also these fences seem to be new. Other than that, I, I think maybe these flowers are also new. That could definitely be. If we just go a little bit further, let me just scroll like this. Oh yes, okay, so we can see like a lot of the leaves and stuff here on the floor. I think there's a natural path, so I'm assuming that these little bumps are from the curbs of the path right over there. Not entirely sure if these are new rocks, they kind of feel new to me, so I would totally dig some new rocks in the game. I would absolutely love that. And uh, there are also like a lot of the, oh man, if they are climbable, guys, that is going to be so freaking good for the game. Oh man, I, I absolutely love this already. I am going to, like not even per se, I'm not even per se going to build like a Halloween park. I'm not really sure if you guys would like that. Like, just let me know in the comments down below. But I, I just know that there are so many things in this pack that... I will definitely be using a lot. I absolutely love it. Ooh, 
There's a raccoon. Oh man. Also, raccoons are also like debatable. Some people love them. Some people hate them because they are like rats in their country. But I am, <laughs> I am just like super in love with raccoons. So I really cannot wait to get my hands on them. I'm so excited to see raccoons、uh, finally being added in the game. But do let me know in the comments down below if you're like. In favor of raccoons, or that you're like, oh man, no, they're like, <laughs> like this rat plague in my country. I really don't like them. Just let me know in the comments down below what team are you on. <laughs> These mushrooms, you guys, like this is definitely a little bit more thematic,、oh, but. I really, really like them. I think these are <laughs> like mushrooms that I've always wanted to have in Planet Coaster. They look so freaking good. I think these are、uh, spider wrap tables or like picnic benches, and there is like a lot of foliage around here. But also, again, like the orange leaves. I do really like that. I like it that that it's like this more autumn theme in here with all this kind of stuff. I like this. Looks like a little. Statue, you see a root here again. Oh, oh man, <laughs> I really, I love roots. For those that that see my Planet Coaster series, I always was such a fan of those those roots, like in so many ways. So I really cannot wait to play around with those. That is gonna be just super amazing. Also, I'm not really sure if this is like some kind of a new theme or anything like that. Oh, of course, like I'm talking about Planet Coaster so often, but I I feel like. These are things that reminds me of Planet Coaster, but they are in fact new to Planet Two. Oh man, this ah,、oh, this is all looking so good. There's a lot of new stuff in here. I also really like this little thing. I don't think we have that in Planet Two either. Oh, this is really cool. Like these pointy roots and stuff. That looks so good. Other than that, I, I think there are like there's like this this rich pot or something like that. And another tree root thingy. Oh man, I think there's a lot of like a little bit of more fantasy and fairy tale stuff in here. Oh man, I I <laughs> you really really love this. So if we just go a little bit for oh you see lights going on right over here. Enter a world that begins at twilight. You can see this one really up close right over here, and then right over here we have another、uh, spider web. And all these flowers here. Oh, I really like this. And then we have more roots on this side, roots on this side. You you can tell that this is definitely also to to decorate your habitats with. So I really hope that it. Wow,、well, I I don't know actually if you want it to be climbable because if it's not climbable, you can use like a lot of those things on the edges of your habitats as well to decorate with. But on the other hand, like having it climbable. Would also be really cool. Oh man, it's gonna be a really tough one. Ah,、uh, I re but I really can't wait to get my hands on it. Also, these fences seem to look different. Also, this one looks different. Oh, this is a new path. I saw people tweet about. Oh, that is actually a really nice path. And I think I'm assuming this is like the new fence that comes along with that path. Oh man, that is looking so good. Also, what is this wood? I actually have no idea, but it looks really nice. I like this. This, this feels more like the the、uh, old rusted wood.、I'm、not sure if there are like new trees and stuff in here, but it definitely looks really really nice. Okay, we just continue a little bit further. Oh, it's a sign. It's a sign of the skunk, but we cannot see the skunk, can we? No, I don't think so. This might be a new enrichment item, actually. Now that I look at it, I can't really tell what it is. It kind of feels like a little box or something where animals can like、uh, lay down in or something like that. I really don't know, but it, oh man, I really cannot wait to find out. Look at these cute little statues. That's really adorable. Again, the roots right over here. <gasps> I think this is a common wombat. Oh look at that! Oh, it's so tiny. Oh man, I love these these pillars and this 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 theme so much. This looks so freaking good. Oh yeah, I I did not I was not sure what to expect for the new pack, but I am I'm really excited about this stuff and、uh, I like the animal roster. 
I, I am not sure. Like it, it's maybe not the most exciting animals for some people. Like they're just simply habitat animals. Although the the bat, we still have to wait and see about that. But it's not like any climb. Oh, I'm not sure actually. They will be climbing animals, but it's not like for for underwater viewings or swimming that much. So. It's debatable. It's debatable, but I, I, I do really like this this animal animal list. To be honest, look at these roots right over here. Oh wow! Oh, that's so good. Um, right over here as well. Like ah, oh, this this looks really really nice. I absolutely love the roots here. I think this is like a really big mushroom. Oh, yeah, this looks really cool. It's hard to tell here on the foliage. It's a little bit dark here, but. I feel like we got like a lot of new flowers and stuff inside of uh, this new pack. I oh, totally love this. Oh, look at this. All oh, these trees, these dry trees. Oh, that's going to be so amazing. This is looking really good. I love this little cute statue right over here. Some flowers. And I don't think anything else is really new here. Although this looks like a bench actually. I think this might be the backside of a bench with the uh, with the spider wrap, something like that. That could definitely be. So if we just continue, look at that. That's a really really cool statue. I like that. This is definitely for your Halloween themed areas to theme in a little bit more with some statues. I do really like that. We have some some mist here. I'm not really sure if this is new or better mid oh wait of course that's the red fox it's a it's a spooky red fox uh statue and right over here we can see the tail of the rat fox but other than that i can't really see that much new i'm not really sure what is here in the back side there's some lights right over here another mushroom it might be new trees but i don't really dare to say i don't i don't think so nice view here on the fence what is what just look at all these eyes right over here they are all lighting up that's pretty spooky i think people that are going to build some kind of halloween spooky park are going to love these these eyes to use as a little bit of decoration as well i think it's a pretty cool thing wish list now on steam so now you have the eyes here again you can see really big roots so they become they're pretty small and pretty big i like that i really like the variety of that a lot of leaves here again the new fence the flowers mushrooms i, I don't really think there's anything else new in this one i don't really see a red fox walking somewhere oh look at this these are new oh i like that oh that's really cool to decorate like your your caves and stuff with this can definitely be a really cool thematic area but also like for for the caves for like the bats and stuff like i'm really curious oh look, look at the raccoon <laughs> it's so cute so that is going to be interesting and and hopefully this is i'm assuming this is going to be recolorable so you can really just make some really cool looking caves and stuff i i do really like these objects as well but you oh, yes yes i am really excited about these also this seems to be new but i'm not entirely sure this looks like some kind of new nettle maybe or something i don't know tell me in the comments if you know if this this is not something we already had in game oh man just look at that i cannot wait to use these oh my goodness but also oh man this this part <laughs> the raccoon just makes me laugh so hard it's so good isn't it oh man i just really love how it's just like doing this thing with this pause it's just so adorable oh my goodness i love this guy oh man it looks so so freaking good it's so so amazing yes i really cannot wait to get the raccoon to get some of my hands on the raccoon this is gonna be so much fun 
So let's talk a little bit more about everything that is coming into the Twilight Pack arriving at the 18th of October. So as I said, this pack will include the Raccoon, the Cute Common Wombat, the Red Fox and the Striped Skunk. And last but certainly not least, uh, they will add the Egyptian Fruit Bat as we bring you an all new exclusive feature, Walkthrough Exhibits. So walkthrough exhibits are a new special feature coming in a Twilight Pack featuring an exhibit with a bigger footprint from 20 meters long, 12 meters wide and 8 meter high that will allow you to house the new Egyptian fruit bats. While these will be exclusive to the Egyptian fruit bat in the Twilight Pack, the exhibit itself will also be available to all players as part of the free update 1.11 to allow all builders to have some fun with the exhibit itself if they wish to. Builders will also be able to enjoy 200 plus new scenery items, some of which really make the most of the spooky season. Set the Amiens with a whole new set of gothic inspired building pieces including a range of Romanian architecture, Port Coolis and even zoo thematic Galgoilas. If you really want to capture the spirit of Halloween and create an area your guests are sure to never forget, you'll love our new jack-o'-lanterns, glowing mushrooms, spider webs, and even a cauldron. Nature isn't being forgotten though. As well as the carved pumpkins, we're also adding a range of thrilling plants. Hide in the shade of the twisted bristle cone pine or decorate a pumpkin patch with new plants including ghost fungus, foxglove, and piles of scattered leaves. We have one more special surprise in store, introducing a brand new career scenario which will be based in Transylvania Zoo that's been left abandoned by old friend Dominic Myers. This will be the first career scenario since the Arctic Pack, so we're sure you're just as excited as us to get your hands on it. This scenario will feature a new letter system to pass you all the information you need to complete the task at hand and it'll even feature some cute selfies from Nancy. So here we have another screenshot of the Twilight Pack and you can definitely see the new theme right over here which is a really nice texture in my opinion. I do really like that. I hope these are not like super big pieces, but maybe piece by piece as well. That would be really nice. I, I do like them, but I, I cannot see myself using them too often if, the, if these are like really big pieces. Uh, but I do really like this. Like it's, it's like oh, these, these statues are really cool as well. So it's like a really nice function to hold some statues in here, I guess. I don't really see anything new. Although, what is this? Oh, this looks very interesting. I'm really curious to see how this exactly works, but it, it looks like a really... Uh, it looks like piece by piece. It's not something we already have in the game, do we? I don't think so. Oh man, I like it. It's like old ruins or something like that. These are really interesting pillars. Oh, I can't wait to see these in the game. Maybe we have another screenshot that reveals a little bit more of it. So this could be the new scenario map. Is this a new backdrop? I think so actually. This looks really good also with like the mist and stuff. Oh this looks really beautiful. absolutely love it. Also notice here that the new stuff that we are getting with the pack. Also right over here. Oh yes this looks really nice. There are definitely some really nice pieces in this pack. Look at the doorway and like these these windows or like bars. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Oh, but this looks definitely really, really good. And then right over here, we have some more raccoons. Look at these guys. Oh my goodness, they look so gorgeous. I love the fur. It looks a little bit scary right now. I think it's because of the eyes, but it, oh man. I think Frontier did a fantastic job on the raccoons. Look at this little face. It's so adorable. Also, I think these are new plants as well. I, I don't think these are the, the, the elephant ear plants or something that we have in the game. I think this is new. Also, notice all the leaves here on the walls and stuff. Oh man, that looks so good. Oh, I love this as well right over here. I think this also is a new tree, but I'm not entirely sure of that. I also love the beams here. I hope that's like a, 
oh, that would be so nice if this would be like a wooden uh, pillar set that is not climbable. That would be just really amazing. I oh, would absolutely love that. Oh man, the raccoons look really, really good. Look at this one also playing with the water. That's so adorable. Oh, this is really amazing. I absolutely love it. But then, right, okay, we have the bats here, guys. I'm not entirely sure what to think of this. Like, this is a walk in exhibit or walk through exhibit. So, I am assuming that the bat or the bat <laughs> that the guests will be able to walk in here and on the other side walk out and hopefully we are able to like decorate this whole exhibit ourselves i think that is why we also get like this rock set so you can play around with that i have no idea how this works like this this bat is flying but it, it like if it's an exhibit i could also see this being some kind of loop or or something like that so I'm not entirely sure yet what to think of this. Like, uh, the bats look absolutely amazing. Uh, definitely no doubt about that. And I find it just really cool that bats are being added in the game. But I, 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 I need to see the game. I need, there's another bat flying right over here. And I want to become super excited at this point, being like, oh my god, we're getting flying animals? But being it being like this this exhibit type, I don't know. I just want to hold back with my excitement a little bit more until I just see how this exactly works. Because we all really want birds, and and hopefully, this is like the first step that we are going to see some birds in the future. I'm not entirely sure if I want to see birds flying birds that is in a setting like this with like a big exhibit where you can walk through i also really wonder if you're like like they gave the option now to like add billboards and stuff to normal exhibits that's part of the free update um so is this also going to be that you can like change the backdrops or like even better like i would love to see like no barriers around it like no barriers is is going to give us like so much more freedom in in what to do with an a big exhibit like this i have a lot of questions about this particular exhibit i have a lot of questions about how this is going to work with the bats how the flying is going to look like how the flying is going to work uh, how is it that the, like the educator that is going to do demonstrations how is that going to work with this this bad that is just something i'm also a little bit curious about but mainly yeah <laughs> i just really have a lot of questions yeah we just have to wait and see like as soon as as i get the pack and and I, I will be recording my first video i will definitely try to figure out as much as possible for you guys so you guys know exactly what you can expect with these new big walkthrough exhibits with these bats what are your expectations um i really would love to know i love to know how how you see this I, like it feels like there's like some some food here on the floor i'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be this this might be something as well where they get fed or something like that ah Okay, I, I just, I really have just so many questions. <laughs> this one, oh man, it is so cool. I love the lighting here as well. It looks really, really good. There's a lot of, uh, of the same theming in here of the pack. Right over here, there is like, um, it feels like a new plant or something like that. Right over here, we can see like a new sign. I actually have the feeling that there's a red fox as well underneath there or something like that. You can see, oh, I think these are just bat signs added on top of a wooden sign or something. Man, there are so many interesting pieces in this pack. It's just different from anything else that we have seen. All these roots right over here look absolutely amazing as well. There's another sign right over here. 
more of the building theme on top of here but there's a lot of oh wait no that's the uh conservation pack climbing frame that you see in the back right over here but what is next to it oh we can zoom in a little bit here yes this is also that this is just normal climbing frames so i don't really think there is anything new right over there this could be some some type of uh new pieces from the new pack though also this archery might be new i think it is also oh man this is looking really really good i love the mushrooms i keep saying it but i really do like it look at this little fella you're so adorable i really cannot wait to see these guys in action in the game that is gonna be so super exciting so yeah do let me know in the comments down below what you all think of the twilight pack what we have seen so far coming to us on the 18th of october including the raccoon the common wombat the red fox striped skunk and the egyptian fruit bat which comes along with a walk through exhibit do let me know in the comments down below do let me know what is your most favorite animal that they are adding in this twilight pack leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys